All right. What, what are we in? We're in the opening round of the winter major, and I've switched accounts. I'm in my 77 account, so I can try and get the full round in, and then I'll go back to my practice account. And Mr. Denner's been playing all day, and he has been kicking ass. He just shot a 33. Look at that. I played what? You played one account today? That's it? It took me, it took me forever, yeah. Yeah, it took you forever. Well, you did some practice stuff on it, right? I'm sure. All right, so what are we doing here? So we got, I'm, we're, I have a set of notes, and here, let me, uh, hold on one sec. Let me uh, switch this over here. So I, I have a, uh, just a crappy, my normal way I do notes, and then I, I've got scribble marks on there from three different rounds, so. I can't tell what I'm actually doing and what I was doing. So I'm going to go through and make a brand new set of notes. And Kevin has numbers for the second shot. Are you ready? I believe so. Okay. What? Are, what? Now, here's the deal about the drive shot. I can guarantee I can guarantee you that Dunner and I are not going to do the same drive shots on all these holes. And here's the no, thing: we don't have my clubs in this kit. Well, I mean, it's not just the club thing, but like, but yeah, yeah. So there's some different. like sometimes people are looking at like the extra mile versus the APOC. So, like in my in this account, I have an extra mile nine and an APOC six, and when I had the APOC five. The deal is, is that I like the top spin on the APOC 6, but to me, sometimes the extra mile is still the better choice because of the ball guide. And I'd give up that, but there are some of the holes in this course that if that you need that extra three yards of raw distance, like you're not going to yeah. get there unless you use an APOC. And that Redwood course is one of them, I think. There's a hole or two where the extra few yards yeah. yeah anyway yeah I mean sometimes size matters and this is one of this is one of those courses where it can be very handy but there's some of these holes that I mean I know that we play them different but we're playing them pretty close but the whole thing is is that your drive is a delivery system to put you to a specific spot that you want to hit to so that you can focus on your second shot. And I think that we're ending up with the same results, even though we're doing it slightly different. So you have to play to your game. Yeah. And anyway, you know what? The only reason I shot 33 in the past round is because I was watching Dale the whole time. So shout out to Dale Appleby. Go yeah. watch him. If you yeah, watch we watched his yeah. golf class. What up, Dale? Dale, a shout out. Dale was giving me shit. I've been, I've been digging, so I have. It's a long. So story. do you want to hear what it says? What? I don't know if you try this shot or not, but uh, you have extra mile nine, obviously. And I'm gonna use a berserker. Yeah. So on hole number one, this is where we're at. This is where we're at at this point in our notes. So we're trying to consolidate our notes together so that we can figure out what we're doing here. So on hole number one, I'm using an eight, I'm... You can use an APOC too. I think it'll be, you won't need the OP as much probably because you have more distance, but... I'm trying to find the... the I'm, do, I'm, the, I'm so doing like a full OP shot. And it's okay because as long as you don't hit it, great or good to the right you can miss as far as you want left I've missed left I hit a good left once and it's still fine because you, you are you're curling it well here's what I found side. if you bring an APOC out there and I've been using a three power ball but you gotta be the head window when you pull the window I've been, the doing a th I've been doing a three power ball in odd op because I don't have anything but three power balls but in this account I got five power balls so I don't have to do any overpower unless I have a headwind but what I've been doing is yeah. are you looking at the picture of it 
If, if no, I, I already know. Yeah, but if you're on, I'm, I'm looking for my, I want to be over to the left. What I have found is if I put my second okay. ring off of this transitional Forward. surface with my APOC, my ball guide's going off like this. And the last time I put, I didn't put quite max topspin, but I should have put max topspin on my APOC. And with max curl, it came right down through the lane. And I overshot it with max curl, and I actually needed to take off Yeah. a little. If you just want to go for a chip, if you want to <laughs> actually try and go towards the pin, I mean, you can do it. Yeah, and I think, so that was that's with an APOC 5, and so that's like 65 top spin and so i think i could have used like 40 so like four four and a half bars of top spin and that would have put me somewhere either right in front or running towards right. the cap so you're just barely trying to get on to that side i'm trying, I'm to, trying I'm to i'm to trying to use curl with my apoc to go right towards the cup because if you if you start off like your ball's over on that fairway on that side. If you start with your ball guide two rings off the transitional surface, where the sand's at, you're way the hell over there by the sand against that rough. And if I put my APOC two rings off of that transitional surface and do max curl with max overpower in my odd account with a three power ball, I was able to get, I actually went right past the, the pin and over the top. But I think if I would have only put on four top spin, I would have been almost pin high. Yeah. Well, I got. Uh, and even though I have power five sure. balls in this account. Two right, one top. I'm going to do a max OP with like my blue ring. I was thinking about it earlier because with the wind that we have in this hole, it's pushing it away from the from the cup. So I think if I. I was doing half a blue ring in the rough at like total max OP, stretched out. I think if I go to the blue ring or even a bit more and then add like max curl, then I might have it going more towards it. Yeah, if you fly. pull, if you try it today, when you get out there on I've the hole. the rough a couple of times too. When you get out there on the hole, and you pull it out as far as it'll possibly go, go to the left until you run into the rough and be two rings off that rough. Take out the wind. This is just like setting up a max overpower hook shot. Take out the wind and then hit a max curl shot. And unless it was a headwind, hit a max curl shot. And when it comes around over that sand, it's, it's running directly towards the flagpole. And when I did it yesterday with the 65 top spin on it, it went over, it went like maybe a foot, it ran past it about one cut and then went past the, well, you saw it, it went over the, over the back and down the hill and through the dale and I'm going to try that right. shot again. Are you ready? You want, you want to, yeah. so that's what we're playing on this. That's what my notes, oh. and I had before, originally my notes said four to five top spin. And I tried doing the max because I didn't think it was enough. And I think I need to go back to the four or five. <laughs> and I think four and a half yeah, might be perfect. A little bit different. And I'm doing a plus 10 on the drive. Yeah. yeah. All, right. All right. Let's go back to uh, our, hold on. Let me make sure I'm in Seattle again. <laughs> we, were so, we were so far, we were out there for so long. Here we go. Here we go. Getting out okay. of the pool. I'm in Seattle. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just got back in here. I just got back in here. Let me make sure. Do you want to let me go first again, or? No, I, yeah, I think it worked better when you went first, and then I was somewhere like between if I waited five to six seconds. It's like. It's somewhere right in that framework. When I waited the six seconds, yeah. it seemed like a little longer. I got you, but unless you got somebody really fast. It sucks. I wish I could see your screen at the same time. Um, we'll have to stop being rookies. Both that. Stop being. Which, which, way's the, which way's the wind blowing today? It's When you pull the wind out, it's going to be a bit of headwind, but it's almost straight right to left. Okay. 
All right. If you're going out to the all the way across. Okay, hole number one. I'm in 92nd place. Ah, I gotcha. I'm in 90. <laughs> Damn it. He beat me before we even got out on the course. That's how good Dunner is. Rat bastard. You know who's good? Kyle's good. Kyle's good. He showed me a couple of uh, replays today. Johnny's good. It's like, what? Dez is good. Mike D is good. Everybody who's won a banner, oh, shit, man, you did. You know the deal is, is if you some, if you grind it out, sometimes you get in those tournaments where you put yourself in the right spot every time, and everything just worked out, and you can get that win. But Kyle is definitely gone he up his me, uh, He's he has an home. awesome. Hey, uh, and master with a great right. <laughs> I remember when Kyle first started playing. I think there was a time. I, I think that I think I Kyle. Think there was. It, it might have been Kyle, and I can't. I can't remember. But somebody. I, I know Mike D. Several times. I had to go in and play. And he needed some coins. <laughs> My deal with Mike D was, I will go for the shot when I'm out in the field. Are you ready? Yep. Go. Go. So I told him, when we're out in the field, and we're uh, I got somebody. When we're out there in the field, I'm going to go for the shot. But when we get on the green, you know, I'll miss the putt. And I got on a streak, and I actually broke his bank, and we had to drop down a tour. <laughs> <laughs> and he called me. He's like, dude, I thought you were trying to help me. <laughs> oh, that's good. Two six. I'm gonna do. It's 1.5 per ring. I'm gonna do a, a three mile per hour pull, and that puts me a quarter of a ring into power. I'm gonna do max curl, and then I'm gonna put just rub the nub so that the needle's not going any faster. Oh, hit it one ring great on the inside, one ring great to the right, and if I was gonna hit it great one way or the other, right's better. Now it's all about speed, and I. And I put, and I still ended up in the rough, but I was, yesterday I was way into the rough, so that was five top spin. That was the top of the line. So four and a half, I think, is going to be perfect. 4.5 top spin. And that will be perfect. And now i got to recover. <laughs> Got to get that shot worked out because that shot is critical in the weekend round. Like, you could have an off opening round, but in the weekend round, you got to have all of your shit together and want these par fours. You really have to shoot them based off of your game. Because I know Dunner's playing it different. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on the, I'm right off the fringe. <laughs> Just this poor fellow's going to try and do a minimum short iron to the cup. Oh, shit. All right, I got to hit this perfect. Perfect. Get in the hole. Get in. Get in the hole. Woo! In the hole. <laughs> Freaking recovered. 
and there, the wind did not play a factor there. I was on the inside. I was on the outside lip of the cup. What'd you do? Go in the fucking sand or something? No, I went over the. Yesterday, I went. I I put on the max top spin, and I went past the green over the top and it was in the sand and had to recover and today I only put on five top spin and it I was in the green I was in the rough maybe a foot up at the top I ran past the cup and we ended up in the top so if I put oh, on yeah. if I put on four and a half with the hill there I think that's going to be pretty close to pin but when I put four on at the beginning of the week, I ended up out in front of the green, and I didn't like the pitch. I didn't want to have to take that pitch. Oh. So I've been trying to work to get pin high. So I'm going to do four and a half on the back and see if that works. And if it does, then we're... Yeah, I can't through spots. But that's only going to work with a power five ball. Now with a power three ball, you can do the exact same shot exactly where I set it up but you have to do max overpower. <laughs> all right, let's see how bad my notes are compared to yours. So on hole number two, right now, this is what all of my scribble notes are on here. I know the spot that we're setting up. So we're setting up and I don't think I'm getting in the same spot that Dunner's getting. You're not doing any movement at all on your ball. No. No spin. It's about second, third bounce. So, like. So, he's go, talking about down in this area plus. here. Go back to your minimum, right? Out of snipe with a sniper. And then start to push forward. And then eventually you'll see, like, your first bounce kicks it way forward. Your yeah. second bounce is right before the fringe, and your third bounce is like two feet in front of the bit, and it's on the fringe of the green of the uh, green. And I've got plus twenty written on my notes, so I've got now I've got a sniper nav. I'm doing a max. So on the front, max pull. You need a win. Even though I'm at three, and it's plus forty. And you're saying it's plus forty. I've made it three out of four times. But you're saying yeah. it's max club at plus forty. Mm -hmm. Even though you're at minimum club. Yep. Right. So max club. And that's with a win that's like three or less, though. If you get more than three wins, I'm not sure. Like, I I haven't been able to. Because what happens is uh, you get that extra push from the wind. And it's, it's slightly from the tailwind. It's mostly left or right to left, but it's kind of from the tailwind. So... You get that extra little push, and you end up, your third bounce ends up being uh, not on the fringe, or close to the fringe, and then it just, it hits a green, and it just dies. Right, because not what, even close. what Dunner's talking about right here is his shot, so if you bring out a sniper and a nav, your red line's going to be somewhere, like, back up in here. It's way the hell up at the top of the hill. And if you pull your sniper all the way back to the minimum red line, and then push it forward... And what you're looking for when you're pushing it forward, so let's say here's your minimum red line, you're pushing your sniper forward down here towards the cup, the third bounce, you're wanting your third bounce to be on the fringe. Because yeah. if it hits on... Because the if, second bounce is important too, though. Yeah. Because the, the second bounce needs to be that little tiny skip. Yeah, because there, and what happens here is in this picture, you can see in this area, I'll zoom in as close as I can, in this area right here, see this shadow? There, what it is is that this is the crotch. So if you had a piece of wood, this is where a branch goes off this way and a branch goes off this way. So it's got a hollow spot right here. And so there's a downward face. So you've got this arm going this way and then you've got this little downward face. And then what it does is it bowls up right here at the bottom of the green. So if you hit on the side of this hill, it'll, it'll take a flat skip forward and clip the fringe and then roll out towards the pin. But if you're on this hill and you hit a little bit low, it'll take an even, it'll, or a little higher, it'll, it'll hit the green. And if it hits the green, it hits in the middle of the bowl and it, it kills the shot. It, it literally won't even make it halfway to the cup. <laughs> So the, no, it's like, yeah, it's way short. So the focus for you, what I've been screwing up is I haven't been pulling it back to my minimum red line and then finding the spot. I've been trying to find the spot and then pushing it forward. 
and it's putting me way the hell off on the left. But my ball guide's really straight, and I think that the wind number still works there, but I'm, I'm away from that little bowl that you're talking about. So I haven't hit it perfect. That's the problem. And I, and I was, in yesterday, I hit a great to the right, I think. And with the plus 40, I was, I think that's what I did yesterday was I used your plus 40 number and I was great to the right off. I mean, it, I, if I'd hit it perfect, I really would have loved to have seen what that perfect looked like. I could have learned something on I'm the trying, perfect, even if I'd have missed I'm it. I'm just trying to, uh, so it's the same shot every time, like, on, because like we're talking about, you know, you, you make your the three par fours, you got 15. So you need to pick up one more. Yeah. Right? And yeah, of course it would be better to pick up you know a par five, but this is the easiest par three out of them all. And if you can really dial this one in, there but you I, go. There's your extra shot, right? On the shot that you're setting up, though, the one thing that I haven't mentioned on this is that when when so Dunner's got the red line up here, and what he's doing is he's walking along this, and you still have half your clear ring in the rough and half the clear rings in yes. the fairway and so you slide it along this range right here at the top until you see your second bounce on this hill face where it's going to the fringe where the third bounce is going to be on the fringe and then it'll roll out wherever that spot's at don't worry about what your tail of your ball guide looks like because it will not look like it's going towards the cup Okay, so do not worry about what's going on on the fourth or the run or whatever. Don't look at any of that. Only look I at mean, this honestly, area right here and where you're at up here. So when you get no spin, when you get to the point up here where you've got your second and your third bounce correct, don't worry about your ball guide. It's, Take, almost, it's almost like a pretty good funnel because uh, on the front side, I think when I've made it, my third bounce didn't actually touch the uh, rough. It was on the green, but it was at a spot where it still it still kept momentum and it had, had the same roll rollout as it did if it did clip the rough, right? So there there's a bit of there is a bit of a margin for error, all but right. it's all about the first landing spot, right? Getting your second, third. I'm ready. Are you ready? No, I'm not uh, ready. Sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to make sure I didn't get kicked out. No, I got kicked out. I'm not ready. That gives me time to get my calculator going. So we're going to do a 40% wind adjustment. So it's 1.4 times whatever the wind is divided by 1. Do you have any power 1 wind balls? Maybe. Let me see. But if I do, I don't have very many of them. I don't really. Those are power 5. Those like are this, big ones. Those one are big hole. ones. I think those are big ones. Tell you what the wind is. I think the only ones I I think less than three. I don't think I have any power ones. All I have is power two, two low wind. No, I don't have any power ones. Oh, I do have some power zeros though. You think a zero ball might work? I. Yeah, I honestly I don't think it's going to really matter too much. Well, let me bring a power. Well, there, you know, these balls right here. Because it is kind of a funnel, like I've. There I've is, noticed, you know, I've the deal is. My role replays, I would rather I've play this. I've, I would rather play this hole with a navigator, since I have a limited selection here, and and this ball right here. There's actually one of the other holes, that I'm so close to my red line with the club that I'm taking to. It's one of the other par threes. Is it the last one, or you're right on your minimum red line? And I don't, and, and this is a, and you need three side spin. So I'm going to save my Santas for like hole number seven, I think. And I'm just going to play with an app. Yeah. I'm just going to play with an app. Well, you're in front of, you're in front of your minimum red line or are you right at minimum club? No, no, it's in front of it. I just bring it back there for a quick reference. I'm going to start moving forward. Well, I wonder if you can, I wonder. <laughs> No, I'm there. So my set, sorry. I had to give myself a safety talk for this hole. Uh, 
I'm worried about the bounces. So I push it forward until I see my second bounce. It was almost like right before the fringe. And then yep. it was like... And what club are you no, using? Two. Sniper. You're using sniper. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, I'm using a... I'm going to try it with a power two ball and see if I can find the spot. Yeah. It should, I guess, power two, it should be closer to your middle of club two, right? So. Yeah, and we'll see if I have enough room to work out... And this wind right here will tell me whether or not I have to switch to a power... I have to go back to a power one. So, yeah. I'm going to be a wanker. I'm going to use a little bit ball. Well, I mean, the whole deal is, is if you have a ball inventory, you... But hey, what if... You got to use them. But you don't nest. But you want to be smart about it. So, like, if you've got a limited selection like I've got, you want to make sure that you're maximizing your effort. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and you know what? The last round I played, the wind, uh, the guy had a Katana ball, so it's that wind too. So, and his was like 2.3 or something. So, I think if you can keep it below 3, the plus 40 works. All right. If it's more than 3, you might have to do more than that. I don't know. All right. Are you ready? You go. Uh, I'm ready. 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Guido. No? No, I already got Guido. You already got Guido? Did you say, is that serious? Did you get Guido? Guido part two, even. A Guido part two. He's got like a... Santa I went and Claus. did some... You know, the oh. deal is, I went I went and did some work in Jersey one time, and I was working in the area where they filmed The Sopranos, and everybody there acted like they were a freaking mobster, like how they talked. But I went to this one guy's house, and they, they uh, I was talking to him, and I, I was like, you know, no. And, and his buddy was there, and his buddy was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? He was doing the whole thing, and, and, there, and, his, and I shit you not, his name was Guido, and he, would, and he went, hey, calm down, Guido. Calm down, dude. Like, you know, like, I was like, Man. I think it's kind of like a, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, and someone can tell us if I'm wrong, but I think that's kind of like a dude, right? Hey, Guido, hey, dude, slow down. Like, the whole deal is, is that it was like living up to the stereotype because they, I was talking to him and he's like, hey man, everybody, everybody thinks we're all just gangsters. And then, it, but everybody freaking acted like a damn gangster. <laughs> Okay, it's 2.2. Oh, the freaking calculator shut down. 2.2. It's 3.08 rings. There's three in a smidget. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if we can get it in the hole. That was... Here it goes. That's the graphic. Come on. Get in the hole. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. I missed it by the width of a ball. And I mean it's pin high. I mean it's like right even with the with the flagpole. <laughs> yeah, it's a Oh. That's that was that was close. So I have to go back and watch that because I with the way that the wind was blowing it on the side that I ran in on, that I over, I, I might have over pulled it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't look too much into it and just keep playing the same way. You know, I'm, like, I can't I remember. Can't to be honest with you, I wasn't paying attention to which side it came. I, I actually think I under pulled it. Well, see, I think. And it was supposed to be 3.08 grains, and I did pull it slightly more than three. I probably pulled it 3-1. That's a great shot. Oh, that was, that was a heartbreaker. But that's okay. I, that, I'm, I'm really happy with that deal. I did see, and I was able to do it with a, with a two power ball. And that might have been why I was a little bit off because my red, I, I, I did have enough room to pull out the wind. 
So like with a power one ball, you're probably kind of in between min and mid. And I was right at min. So I might need to actually up that if I want to use a power five ball. I'll have to go look that. I, I did find the spot though that you're talking about. And I didn't worry about where the tail was going. All right, you still there? Yep. All right, hole number three, I've got on my notes, I'm not even going to look at the hole yet. On my notes, I've got Rock Kingmaker, plus 40%. I'm trying to hit the 332, and that's plus 40% on the shot, the second shot. And the second shot I'm taking with a sniper. Rock Kingmaker, which way is the wind blowing? Uh, a little bit of headwind. A most tiny of bit of headwind, and so if there's any due headwind here, and you're using a rock on this, it's it, almost straight side to side. But yeah, so, so I'm, I'm going to put my red wing, my red wing, my red ring <laughs> at the bottom of the uh, of, the, uh, of the last I'm island. Last. Yeah, and kind of match the contour of the rough. Yeah, with and, the ring. And which clever are you and using? Uh, mine is going to be X mile 8, so it doesn't really matter because I'm pulling back from the maximum distance when I set it up. Yeah, so a, if you have an, a rock two, 9, one, so a rock uh, 9 hits uh, 232, 232 no, no, with a kingmaker will put you right over here with a couple rings of separation to be able to work around the deal. But if you've got any kind of headwind you'll have to bring out a bigger ball or you'll have to up it to an extra mile or an APOC in order to get the raw distance to get over there. I wrote down, okay, so I've got, I'm going to play this at plus 10. Yeah, I play the drive, I, at, I play the drive at plus, I play plus the drive 20. at plus 10. Drive plus 10. Because it's going to be, if you play plus 10, I found it's going to end up right of where you're aiming. So I think the proper adjustment is plus 20. But I actually want to end up right of where I'm aiming to start with because it puts me in a spot for my second shot. And if you have... Yeah, I'm going to do two right, two top. If you want to on your second shot, if you've got an upper developed hammerhead, this would be a great shot for a hammerhead up in the front because you wouldn't have to bring out... The, the A lot of the reason about bringing out a bigger ball is the second shot to get over because you can get... Like I'm starting off over here, but what you can do is you can use your rock or your quarterback. If you've got lower developed clubs, don't worry about trying to get over here. Don't burn a big ball. You can start over here with your quarterback and max curl. If you're three rings of separation off of this transitional surface between the fairway and the rough with a quarterback, your ball guide's going to be going out like this. You put on, you have to work your own top spin, but you'll have to, you could put on like four or five top spin and max curl and it'll go right down the fairway you'll have to work your adjustment based off of your club but that's an easy way to get out here without burning a big deal you may need a big ball for the second shot so if you got a big hammerhead but if you get far enough out here with a power three ball you're clear in the area 40 percent to the cup uh on the second shot we're we got number two uh to the cup i have Plus 40. Plus 40. All right, I'm taking my number two bag. So what I did was I, I made this action. Uh, put, the, put the ball guide right to the cup, do plus 40, and then you have to do like a little tiny bit of curl to the left. Yeah, I'm going to so cold like, trade. Rubbing the gloves a little bit. Uh, All right, let's see if I can get... Uh, See what my club card trading is today. Big Tapa off roader. Got to go with that off roader. It's not very often I get clubs that I'm working on both clubs. I decided I'm going to work on my Big Topper. I might as well get it out of the hook and get it out of the the group. That big topper, when it gets to max, is it's the same thing as a rock. It hits 232, and it's got 100% topspin. 
and it gets yeah. and it picks up some accuracy. I think it's like 1.8 or 1.75 or no, I don't think it. It might be 1.75, 1.8 when it gets maxed out, and it becomes like a killer club. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yes. Let me know when you go. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Can't really go back. Go back in. Here we go. We're going to get it right now. Are we going to get it? Boom. Come on. Oh, come on. Did you get somebody else? No. Oh, no, I did. I just put it back out again. Fuck. But you got somebody. David. David. Who's this David person? He can go first. Go ahead. All right. Rock Kingmaker. Plus 10. I got to get my calculator out for the plus 40. 1.4. All right. This wind Five, is... Three. On the okay. spot that we're setting up here on the drive, it's not quite due side wind, so there will be just a little teeny bit of headwind. So hopefully my opponent and I end up in the clear so that you can see The difference between bringing out a power three ball and a power one ball, as far as where what your your second shot is, and the look, in one on one, this kind of hole, you can you get this hole done with a marlin? Absolutely. <laughs> you have a much better look at it with a power three ball. Absolutely. I'm going to pull back a little from the red line. I want to do max side spin. And no, more, no, uh, just a little less than two. And what I'm looking for is watch the tail when it starts to hook off to the left. That's the spot. Three six. I'm going to do a four mile per hour pull. Full rings. And that puts me half a ring into power. I'm going to hit straight forward. And I hit it. What was that? That was probably only one ring. That wasn't 75. Because <laughs> if you hit it more than one, you're going to end up in the rough. <laughs> I almost did. I almost did. That's. I mean, I try and leave myself, and that's one of the reasons why I wait for my tail. If you pull your club out there with like a little less than two topspin, I'm using a rock. And you wave and you pull it to the left, the ball guide at the very tip will start to drift off to the left. And I want to pull it maybe half a ring after it starts dripping, drifting to the left. And I caught that great to the right and almost caught the rough. <laughs> if it would have been two ring, if it had been a ring and a half, it would have caught the rough. <laughs> Now watch my opponent, I'll make it, and there, and there we go. Now let's see how much better my shot is, if, if any better. I didn't watch theirs, 3.5 miles per hour. One blue ring off. Two five. It's three point yeah. five rings. I'm in. A, I, I didn't give myself enough room. I'm gonna end up hitting the red oh. line right at the very end. I barely gave myself enough room. Ugh. Oh.
Yeah, and I yesterday I did the same thing. I came in there and I did the 40%, and I hit it great to the right, and I ended up pin high, great to the right. I mean, at the very end of the run, I would love to see what that shot would have looked like perfect. Loved it. But I like that number, though. Yeah. And I and on the back too. And I barely there was enough room there. There was enough room for me to pull back from the red line to work the wind out. And I thought I got it, but I was I did get it, but I was it was close. <laughs> I barely gave myself enough room. So, oh, number four. Hole four. Okay. What is hole number four? Hole number four is a par three. Par. I think I missed this one last time. Quasar. I'm using Goliath because. Yeah, I'm and you're going, but you're hitting the shot from the island on the left. Yes. And then bringing it back over to the cup and doing this shot. And what ball and clever you're using a Goliath. Quasar, two right, two back. Quasar, then, two right, two back. Uh, let's let's and see which way. Three squares in going. front. So your third bounce is uh, three squares in front of the pin and one square to the left, like in the corner of that square. So here's the deal. Uh, this, okay, that landing pad on the edge, when you look at the, you look at the, all of the light green that's fairway there, it looks like it's absolutely flat, right? Like, no, I mean, it, but it looks like it's flat and then it hits the rough where it's the dark green and then there's the snow. And then it looks like here's the little dark green with the rough and then here's the snow and then here's the stuff and then you're in the, you're in the drink. But that's not how it is. <laughs> the green goes like this and then it rolls and then you're seeing the rough, and the rough is super steep, and the rough starts right here. And there is a good ring, ring and a quarter. If you put your ball guide right up against that transition, there's a good ring, ring and a quarter that's actually on the hill face. So when you set your shot up and you're trying to give yourself a little bit of room, I think a lot of people are counting like the room from the rough, but this first ring, ring and a quarter, ring and a half, are not good because if you hit that area you go freaking straight across and you'll be lucky if you get out of that rough you know what i'm talking about uh yeah right so sure. the way that the wind is <laughs> sure <laughs> he's making drinks and i'm sitting here talking about the shot so the way the wind's blowing today is this way and so when you're setting your shot up out here and you're pulling it and because the wind's blowing this way and you're having to pull it that direction, it's really easy to make a bad wind adjustment and end up hitting that face. So you really want to know what your wind adjustment is. And what are you using on that side? What's your... um, so, let me see. Because it's the We're same on the four. other side. Goliath, Quasar, two right, two back, three squares, short, one left, plus 40. And I can't remember if it was this hole. I think it might have been this hole that it would have been really nice to have a three side spin low wind ball. Go next one. Next one. Next one. If you, uh, next one you can shoot from the left if you have like a four. Spin and it seems ball. like I had to take this with a katana. What do my notes say? My notes say grizzly katana. But it seemed like I had to change yeah, the katana point. because the it's red line was so fucking need, close. You don't need three side spin if you go from the left of this hole. Yeah, yeah, but if you want less side spin, you got to go closer to the edge down on the bottom. Fair enough. So, I mean, I may have to switch to a quasar. See, the other thing I like, I like about having Goliath now, thanks, Dale, is uh, it's also like less... So when you do your win, it's like, okay, I, I understand you're still pulling the same distance. Like, well, not really. Bullseye. Well, well, it is, right? It's just not in terms of rings, but in terms of actual distance on the, on the course or like on the screen or whatever. 
you know, you're still pulling the same distance. It's just that when the club's more accurate, the rings are smaller, so it's more rings, right? So that's kind of why I like Goliath. It's because, like, there's always, there's nothing more than 2-5, you know? It, but I never liked the ball guide on the Goliath. And and the other thing is is that I don't like it's where almost, I don't like the fact that there's no transition between the Goliath and your wood. Yes, that comes into factor sometimes. And I play, and I mean, even though you can't I, uh, feel the red sure line, you can feel easily, the red line. Because <laughs> I want to use my sniper, but I want to be at absolute mid, so I put a grizzly in, so I can go all the way down, and I don't transition right away. Here's the red line break in between. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, go. Let me know. John. No, I got someone right away again. All right, all right. Ken. Ken. Where's Barbie? His profile picture, apparently. Grizzly Katana plus 40. 1.4 times the wind. Divided by 1. One of these holes, play, I was having a problem yourself. with the ball, and I can't remember if it was this one or not, whether the, the where the red line's at. And I haven't had time to go back and watch the video from yesterday to see what the heck was going on. So if I want to take this with my grizzly, I got to bring out a bigger, I got to bring out a big ball. Yeah, I, another reason why Goliath is good. Okay, it's a 1.9, 2.66 rings. There's two five. There's two seven. Oh! And I hit it great to the left. I had to snap it off. I only had like a, about a third of a second left. <laughs> and I was... Yesterday I hit that... I think I hit it perfect yesterday and I was just off on that side. I think I actually need to do a bigger than a 40% adjustment. There are several of the par threes that... A lot of people have problems with and I actually love playing on those holes and I do like a plus 60. <laughs> I can think of yeah, one hole I do a plus 50 on and I know that I and I know that people are like what the hell are you doing plus 50 for dude? Tommy said we're supposed to do plus 10. <laughs> there are several holes in this game. I've been watching Tommy's videos so like when, when the game first came out it was Tommy and he had a buddy Nicholas that shot videos and Nicholas got pissed off in a tournament one day. I think he got disconnected or something. He got pissed off and he quit playing. I actually learned a bunch of shit from Nicholas losing a bunch of matches to him because back then you could replay people forever. But uh, Tommy was really cruel to Nicholas because Nicholas played on his phone and they would be playing each other. And Tommy was playing on a tablet and he was talking on his phone. And so when it was... When, when it was Nicholas's shot, he would call Nicholas on another phone <laughs> and interrupt his gameplay. Rat bastard. Yeah. No dice. All right. Hold on a second. I gotta pause the video for a second. Where do you want to go? All right. Are you? I mean, you ready to go? Back up. No, I was firing the video back up. <laughs> the boss came home, so I had to stop for a second. The boss lady. Yeah. So I think if you go to the... If you're going to use a rock, 
Go to plus seven. Red ring on the rough on the left. One back. Go two left. One back. Yeah. Plus ten. Yep. And then you curl. Just a bit outside of the ring. Well, you're using a Titan. I'm using a Kingmaker, so I've got a little extra side spin, just so that I don't have to put any curl on. But I am leaning a little to the left. It's not a bad idea. It's deeper. The fair yep. that fairway's deeper on the left. Okay, you ready? Yep. Let me know. Three, two, one, go. Come on, come on, man. Come on. Let's get some dunner. I haven't got dodge yet. Back out. Back out. All right, I backed out. Yeah, I'm, I got nothing else. Are you ready? Okay, let's try this again. Yep. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got somebody right off the bat. Love virus. Yeah. Welcome to the channel. Kick his ass and take it and get a get a chest right here. Let's get let's pick it up. We got to pick it up. There's just no option. So my notes, I didn't go over my notes with it. we didn't go over our notes on this because this is one of those things you just got to set it up. <laughs> what are you doing to the What are you doing to the cup? Uh, sniper. Uh, depending on where you land, if it's uh. I'm aiming for 312 yards of the drive. That's where I'm That's aiming. That's top. So uh, basically, it's two to two or two and a little bit top spin on the second shot, and then uh, you want to look a little bit left of the hole, and also like three squares Ooh, short. I just barely made that. And then plus ten. And in the drink, my opponent hit it all the way over and ended up in the water. <laughs> they made it over the first water. And then they ended up in the little teeny island of water. Yeah, I went the plus. I'm three rings off. Max side spin. No more than one back spin. Three five. I'm gonna do ten percent, so I'm gonna do three eight. So I'm just gonna move back here. There's three. Eight. And I'm gonna lean just a little to the left. Hitting it perfect. El perfecto. Three twelve. Let's get there. Three twelve. Come on. Are you there? No, I hit Three eleven. Ah, close. Okay, so yeah, two toss bin. That's all you're gonna need. Yeah, but you're doing plus 10%. 319, I'm going to use 2.2 top. Or I'm with 309 now, so... Yeah, plus 10, max adjustment. And then make sure you aim like three holes square short. Yeah, and it drifts off at the very end to the right. So you got to yeah, start so off a little bit to the left. Cheat to the left, yeah. Yeah. See if my opponent can catch the. Uh, they're gonna go for. And the, at this point, the smart move for them is to go for it again. You're committed. What you got? Three eleven. Yeah. Two um, toss wins should get you. Three I'm not sure why short. my opponent's trying, not trying to curl it to the left and trying to bring it more up the fairway because they're hit. Even if they hit it perfect, they're hitting it towards that center water. I have to go back and watch the video and see how they set that up. I know that there's a max overpower hook shot you can do going on that side. Okay, so I'm going to do the win first. 3.8. Where's that put me? And it drops off right at the very end. Three eight. It's four point one eight rings. So there's four, one, two. 
Hit it perfect. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Come on. Come on. Oh, that was a mile off. See, that's the deal. Is there are times when I will get on that hole and the plus 10 seems like it works. And right there, I should have did like a plus 30. That was a mile off. Would you go past? Huh? No, no, no. I mean, it went. if it would have been... If it would have been on line with the cup, it had it would have been. I think it would have stopped in the hole, but so I hit like it. It rolled a little bit past it, the right? But I was and it ended up seventy mm. rings straight to the right. No, I hit it perfect, and it ended up two whole squares to the right. Yeah, you but you're going more to the left off the drive, though. I think right. You're using more than two back or two side spin drive. I think I or you're saying two back spin or two top spin. I used like two and a quarter. No, no, no. I mean on the drive. Oh, I'm doing no. Just you're, one you're back like spin. More than two, two side spin on the drive. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I'm doing three, so I'm more in. So the, you're more than where I am. I'm probably a little bit left of where you're at. Yeah. So that's probably why it's a little bit different. Well, I can just not put that yeah. little teeny bit of curl that I put on it, and I can just hit it straight, and I'd be in the same spot. Well, I Because there is, it seems like, because when I've made Albies on this, it seemed like it just goes in with the plus the curl the outside of the ball just goes barely outside of the circle, when you sh the shot circle, right? It's not a big deal for curl either, and it's safe either way. Like you can hit great either side, no matter. Hole number six. Hole number six. What is hole number six? Oh shit. Which way's the wind blowing? I can't remember. I think the wind was blowing almost headwind. Yeah, we are getting a little bit of headwind. But we can do this with a power three ball and max overpower. But if you got a power five ball, you don't have to do any overpower except a little. You still do. And I'm going to use. You still do overpower. I'm going to. You got a power. You still you have to do maximum power just to make it across the power three ball. All right, let's see what it looks like with a. Uh, let's see what it looks like with a zerk. A zerk. Still got a couple. And I'm gonna bring. I'd really rather take this with my extra mile, but I may have to take it with my apoc. Because I think yeah. I'm gonna need the rod. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need the rod power. distance, oh, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, and it's 1.5 per ring, and I've been doing a plus 10 percent on the drive. So I'm doing max top, max OP, between one and two less spin, or two less spin, max top, plus 10. And you're using a power five ball? Yeah. All right, I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. Go. Come on. Oh, I got nothing. Back out. Back out. All right. I'm ready. Yeah. No, I got something. Hold on a sec. Did you get an error message? Error. Yeah. I couldn't even get back to the main screen. An error. Error.
play some elevator music. Da -da. With COVID, we haven't been able to go on vacation, so we haven't been able to do like the whole. We go to a lot of the Hard Rock resorts, Hard Rock and Palace resorts, but the Hard Rock ones, they always have some big bar where they do like karaoke on Thursday nights. <laughs> we always like to come in on a Thursday. Yeah, we like to come in on a Thursday night and we can do karaoke and then we can catch it. We can, you know, we always want to make sure we can catch it a couple times. Sometimes they'll do it a little more often. They may have an outdoor karaoke, but we like to. I like to do. I don't like to do some song that they do. I go up there and sing a cappella. They don't have any music for it, and I'll just go up there and sing some song. <laughs> I know some uh, Adam Sandler songs where I know the words, like I, and I have a whole routine for it, right? I know. It's pretty cool because I know I know some other songs too that are that I I've probably got like four or five but they're all like that and if I can get going like if I can get somebody to start drinking tequila with me I can make it through my whole routine and the place usually kind of gives me shit about the first one like hey you got to do one of the things that we have but then after I do the first one then they're like yeah if you want to do more no problem. <laughs> Back. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, three, two, one, go. <coughs> Come on, man. Come on. Come on. I got moop. Spacey, Stacy. Spacey, Stacy. Moop, moop, dollar. Goes first. Let's see what they can do with the Kingmaker. Because I can never remember on these holes. No, they can't make it over there. No, they can. They got a little teeny window. There you go. Still got to do... Still got to do a little OP. I don't think you have... To, you don't have to put max topspin on there if you do... No. Overpower, right? Not with a power five ball. Let's see if my opponent hit it long. No, they're perfect. That's beautiful. Nice shot. That works. That dog will hunt right there. Boom. Right on the fringe. Perfect. 411. Good bend. Three seven. And I'm gonna move it. There's four five. I'm gonna move about four. That puts me a couple rings in the power. Hitting it perfect. Now it's all about whether or not I put on too much top spin. <laughs> get out! Get out! Get out! Nope. Almost. I still got a great shot from there, but I'm gonna have to recover out of the rough. Didn't put quite enough overpower on. I guess you do have to put all the overpower on it. It really looked like it was gonna like get up there, but it didn't. Yeah, and that is a shitty side to have to take that chip. In this situation right here, if you use a rapier. Put on one or two backspin and get up really close to the cup, and you can avoid having to do that hill. Hit it perfect, El Perfecto. And see how they missed, they almost missed on that side. That was close. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Yay. Did you drop it? Got that one, yep. Excellent. I'm going to drop mine That's right good here. Drive. The 
question is, can I get it inside of the cup? Right there. Alright, I've hedged my bet. I'm ready to roll. Oh. And I missed it by a country mile. <laughs> 77 rings? Uh, it, was at least, it was at least 77 rings. Maybe towards 5,000. I was on Dale's stream today, and he was on that. And it's like, if it's two ring, if it's if you're outside of one ring, if it's two rings, it might as well be 80. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you're way off. Don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter at that point. You're way off. That's why when I hit that alley the other day with the two ring grate, I was like, how how the how the hell far off was I setting that shot up? And that was the. Yeah. That's a weird shot, man. And that was the hole I we just played. No. Or the one before that. Uh, yeah. The where before. we did the plus 10. And on that particular shot that we just took, it looked like I should have did like a plus 30. And I did a plus 10 on the other one, and I hit it two rings great, and I went oh, in. Oh, no. Par 5. The first par 5, number 3. No, it was, uh, it was number 5. It was I the one disagree. we just... You think it was number three? It might have been. That you had, that you got the great Albion. That was hole number three. All right, what do we got for hole number seven? Hole number seven is a par three. This is the last of the par threes, and this is the one that I really think that if you've got a low wind, if you had a zero power, four side spin ball, it would work awesome on this hole, because you could set up. Huh? With zero power, you'd be using wood. Okay. So what, you got to push it forward. So is it a power one or a power two? No, I'm using Katana Ball. I don't think no, I have. Ball. I don't think any of the two side spin or the two wind balls that I have are bigger. Three side left, spin. two and a half back. Three and a half back. max. It's three, four. Okay, so my bounces are... I only got one of those, and that one's not going to work. And the only other oh, ones I got there are those turkey balls, and those are not going to work. And what are the balls they're selling right now? Let's see. This is, this is the whole deal. Yeah, those are yeah, nice other balls. Shit. Yeah. The ones? Okay. But those are nice balls to have in your inventory. Those five power... Those zero power balls with, I mean, like looking at the Santa, which was the first zero power ball that came out, like where they're out there versus this. I mean, five backspin boost, five side spin, five wind. Like, shit, there's nothing you can't do with that power five ball other than precision, or the power zero ball other than precision. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a I great... I got the 20, season 21, though, before all the special extra shit. Power five, so power cup spin two, three, three, side five. spin three. That would have worked on that last hole to help out with that APOC. Win zero. And I could have brought now a win zero with headwind. It's not going to work. Not going to work, but those are pretty good balls, both of them. That zero power ball, though, I could see that wanting to have a lot of those in your inventory. All right, I don't have any, I don't have any, I only have one low wind, and I'll save it for the weekend round for the backside. So I guess I'm using a katana, and it seemed to me that there was a, that a katana barely got it done. It was a red line deal. Was I using a sniper? I thought I was using a grizzly. No. Yeah, it should be. It's a grizzly, right? Well, I, I'm glad for me, but... A grizzly and a katana, and I was doing a plus 30. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. All right. Plus 30. Three left, two and a half back. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. All right. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Nope. Did you get somebody? Yeah, I got B, G. 
It's always when we're in that like five to six seconds is whenever we've gotten hooked up. But today I've been waiting like five to six seconds and we're not getting hooked up. And now it's taken me forever to get hooked up. Of course. Yeah, it's weird. I was watching a video earlier and... Oh, I got to pick this shot up because like I dropped right off the minimum it. score. The minimum you have to come. I, I will tell you, like minimum score on this tournament in this course is minus twelve. But when you're playing a tournament on this course, the minimum score to get you even in the conversation before the newscasters go, "Oh yeah, Dunner's." Well, did you see Dunner storming up to the front today? Because you had to shoot a minus thirty. <laughs> Minus 15 per side is what you've got to shoot on this course before your name's even going to be mentioned on ESPN. And so you have to pick up the par fours. And I dropped a shot. And the whole goal is to pick up the par fours and then pick up anything, anything else. Just one. And now you're in contention. Anything more than that, you're even more in contention. And I dropped the shot. What the hell is the deal? Now I gotta make it up and the shot that you're trying to win with I gotta use to cover my ass for another shot. And crap is that. That's bullshit. <laughs> okay, 2.3. 10% would be 0.2, that'd be uh, 6, 9. It'd be basically 7, so it's a 3 mile per hour pull. Figure that math out. How do you like that? How do you like those apples? So it's a three mile per hour pool. It's 100% accurate club, one per ring. There's three rings. Hitting it perfect. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Uh, I'm still, every single time I've come into it, I've come into it on the left hand side. And I was actually a little bit short right there. If I'd have been perfect, I was actually a little short. Yeah. And I was I perfect, but I wasn't on track, so. Too much. So 30 might have been too much. I had another 10 percent on the wind, but I like, I like where I landed. I just. Uh, I'm going to change that to plus 20. Stuff. I think I over pulled it. And I think the wind's been kind of blowing that direction all, all week. Well, we did that practice run yesterday, so the wind was definitely blowing in the same direction, and I overpulled it yesterday. I hit it great to the left, but it was way great to the left, so I had. All right. All right. Now we have to make this hole, and this hole is actually a little bit tough right now because of this damn wind. So if you have a Power 5 ball, you can over do a max overpower shot and get over to the other side, but if you don't have a power five ball, you have to you can use a katana. And I actually think I like the shot that I did yesterday with Odd Ot in the practice account. I was fine with that. And I just and I was able to use a katana and I didn't have to burn a power five ball and I can do that no matter what the wind is. in the back it's pretty much headwind and I think I'm going to I use believe. my APOC because it's got a little more raw distance so the bounce the distance from the first bounce to the second bounce should be farther maybe and I don't think I had to use all my top spin yesterday the deal is is you just need to clear the sand so I'm going to use my number five bag and a kingmaker. No, I'm going to use a katana. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Katana will work. And my number five bag. On the green of one. That's what we're looking for. You ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. I was about five yeah, seconds. Right away. And I got somebody right away. Mm. 
No dice. Man, doesn't the wind seem like it's more headwind today than it was yesterday? Oh, I guess when you're at that angle. And my opponent is hitting over to the left, and the spectators right now are totally pissed off. And the, they're waving their hands Try out there going, Dude, you're hitting into the... There's spectators out here. <laughs> Nobody hits to the left. What the hell are you doing? Why would you lay it up over there when you we you can get on in one from from this side? Maybe they just don't know that that shot's there. So maybe they'll watch my shot and hopefully I can uh, get it to go. Oh, shit. oh my god! And what I'm looking for is that second bounce. I want that second bounce to be in front of. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. I want it to be in front of that sand. And I'm going to put have to put curl on it. So it's 3.7. I'm going to do a 4 mile per hour pull. So it's a little less. It's 2 and 2 thirds rings. And I'm going to have to put some curl on it to bring it back to the fairway. And just a titch of overpower. Not much. Hit a one ring great to the right. A little shorter than I would have liked, but I did like that speed coming in there. So I could have put that little teeny bit of tossbone on it. Looked like if I, I looked like I was going to roll off, but I got a, I got a long putt. But it's it's definitely makeable. Well, it might be makeable for everybody else, but it's it's definitely, I would rather have a chip right here than that putt, if I'm being honest. Damn it. Let's see if my opponent, they hit a great. And you can do that with a Quasar. You can do that with a Marlin from that side over there. And one-on-one, -on -one, that's the way to go with this hole. No doubt about it. Oh my god, I'm complete shit right now. Uh-oh, I missed yeah. it. I missed it. Ooh! Woo! I got lucky on that putt. I missed that putt. I hit it great to the right. And Barely rimmed the cup. <laughs> I'm not the best putter in the world. <laughs> That's a long putt for me. <laughs> what a terrible hole that was for me. Well, it was so a terrible hole for you? What did you what did you do wrong on that hole? I hit it fucking three thousand ring straight to the left. <laughs> But you yeah. did the max overpower with the power five ball and tried to go to the no, other side, no. right? No, I wasn't paying attention to what I was supposed to do. And no, not really. Over, I only overpowered what I had to pull when I pulled the ring. If I wanted to overpower a bit, that's what, all I had to do for overpower. But. I got you. But you did the, you went right at it. You, you did the overpower so that you could start off, bounce over the sand and run towards the cup where you probably used like one backspin or something, right? Well, before the sand, and then bounce over it. Yeah. And I, did the side, yeah. and I did the shot from the other fairway where you bounce over, clear the sand, and run towards the cup. Yesterday, that was a great video that we did yesterday because we played this hole together yesterday, and you did it your way, and I did it that way, and people saw it both ways. And today, everybody got to see what I've been telling people all week is that you don't freaking hit it to the left. Why hit it? Why hit it to the left when you can hit it on the green and one? <laughs> Ugh, I got a burger that hole. That's Come on. terrible. That's the, like the easiest hole in the course. I got a birdie. That's the most, in my opinion, that might be the most hole in oneable par four in the game if the wind's blowing the right way. If you got tailwind, that hole is super makeable. <laughs> 
All right, you need to get the yeah, 400. Said, you oh. need to get the 400 plus 398. Yesterday I was at 398 on this hole, and at 398 I could clear this peninsula. But if I would have had a big headwind, I had very little room to maneuver my ball. But I was in front, so I really want to get 400 plus on the drive. Is what I'm aiming for. What are you aiming for? Uh, this last hole? Yep. Titan, extra mile. Max top, I think, about 1.5, right? Titan. Plus 10. The king of balls. Pull it back. Pull it back and then push back. And then you can use like some overpower too. You definitely want, yeah, 400 yards or so is where you want to be. Yeah. yeah, but we're getting headwind today, right? Uh, no. Nope, we're getting tailwind. So we can use it today. Yeah. So I'm going to use the wind, and I'm not going to do a lot of overpower, but I'm going to do a little teeny bit. But I'm going to use the wind to try and get me out there. Yeah, with extra mile, with the top spot, or top spin, extra mile nine, you don't really need much overpower. Pull the wind out, push back up. And, uh, a little bit. I, mean, I don't think you can go too far on this hole, on the drive. But. All right, so I'm using a extra mile and a sneaker and a Titan. And I'm doing a plus 10 on the drive. And what are you doing on, are you doing anything on the drive? Yeah, plus 10. And then what are you doing on the second shot? I've got plus 35 on mine. Yeah. Because I tried the plus 40 and it was off. And I, and I think you were trying the 35, so I'm going to use your 35. Let me get my calculator out yeah, and get it all ready. 1.35? Okay, I'm ready. What am I doing? Next to the, okay, that little, or not perfect, next to the rough, that little lift that sticks out there. Yep. I try to aim a few next to that. And then I'll spin it towards the hole. Much better. I don't know what spins will be different because I don't know if it end up in the same spot in the drive every day. Yeah, I tried the the drive where I was not where I actually was pulling back from the red line, so that I gave myself enough room to work out headwind and just trying to lay the ball up there with max topspin. And what I found was I was in a consistent spot, but it was at like three ninety. And 390 put me so that when I came to the cup, I had to start off on the left-hand side of that peninsula. But if I can hit it out to 400 plus, I can start in front. But every yard farther you get makes a big difference on your shot to the cup. So, I mean, you can't come yeah. in there with set numbers. But I'm trying to hit to 400 plus, and I had plenty of fairway out there. So it's not like I'm going to overhit it. <laughs> Exactly. All right, I'm ready. You ready? Okay, yeah. Three, two, one, go. I went a little earlier this time. Come on. Fucking Rob three from the UO. The Oklahoma, freaking Okies. Oklahoma. I worked in Tulsa, Oklahoma for so long I had to freaking rent an apartment. 3.8. <laughs> I'm going to do a 10%, so that's a... Uh, I'm going to just do two rings. That's 4.2. That's about right. I'm going to put the forward moving wind back in. I'm going to put some overpower on it, but not get crazy. And I hit it 7,000 rings great to the right. But I think the second bounce is so far forward that it'll clear that area 
that you can caught up in, and I damn near overhit it. <laughs> I'm at 415. Oh, shit. If I would have did max overpower, I would have overhit it. But I would have been able to recover from down there. You were in the sand earlier. You know, you can recover from that sand if you have a Spitfire because you can do a max overpower hook shot. And you can at least get it over to the green side so you have a short pitch. But you have to do a max overpower hook shot with your Spitfire. Yeah, I come a bit short. I rush myself too. So. All right, it's thirty-five percent to the cup, so it's one point three five times four point one. It's five point three five. Five point five rings. Short. And there's my red line. You see how I'm 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 in mid club. And I'm going right at it. Five point five three. There's five five. Let's hit it perfect. Hitting it perfect. Come on. Let's see if that number works. Get in the hole. Not even close. I over pulled it. On your second shot, try a 25. Or try a 27 and a half. <laughs> if you're doing the math by hand. Are you using an app? Yeah. You use 30. Too late. I was already in process. And, oh, yeah. Over pulled it just a little? Just a bit, yeah. Yeah, just a bit off. Probably, it, it looked more like, if you're doing the numbers by hand, it looks like one of those things where you could chase it around, but like a seven and a half instead of doing, like dropping it down 10% or, or five, doing the seven and a half. My opponent was, <laughs> came through there at like a thousand miles an hour. <laughs> All right, I dropped one on the front and only got a 14. Me too. I missed another putt. And I damn near missed the putt. Easy as well. I think the putt, I, the whole thing is I don't feel that bad about the par four. I made that putt. Oh, I was looking at the wrong fucking notes. I was looking at the opening round notes. Dummy. Because I have on a second. Yep. On the second shot, number nine, I have plus 20. I have the fucking wrong page. Because there's no... Well, plus 20 would back. be 15 off. Maybe. With a sniper, though, it's like... I don't know. It's... Those point one, point two is point. I mean, if you're doing between thirty and twenty plus twenty plus thirty at max, I, I, of course, depends on the wind. But and I wasn't at max. I was at. I was at. The other thing is, I over pulled it, and I was at mid club. So, like, what I should have did was divided that by one point one, and that would have put me at five rings instead of five and a half, and that probably would have been dead on. So, if I get into that same area, I need to hit my club in mid club instead of max because I didn't uh, dude I was I was almost I mean my red line was down there where the ref was but I, I had almost if I had a power four ball I might have been in my grizzly range <laughs> but I was definitely like almost pure mid club from where I set it up so I think the deal on that one is is instead of changing that number off of the 35 I'm gonna do the 35 but I'm gonna pull it at 1.1 per ring. And if I'm not, 
and then if I'm at Max Club, I may change that because it seemed like I was off yesterday too. If I was at Max Club, all right, that was a minus 14, so that's not going to. Yesterday, I went into my odd odd account maybe two hours after we stopped playing, and there was nine people that were at hole number nine that had shot a minus 15. So I shot a minus 15, but there was nine people that were there at that point, and there was a bunch of people that had finished more holes. So I don't know how I don't know what it looks like at the top. But in my odd odd account, there's going to be a bunch of people up there at 30. <laughs> a bunch. <laughs> I would say probably the top 30 are going to be 30. It won't be that quite that bad in 77's account, but uh, minus 14 blows. Blows. All right, that was the front nine at the opening round of the 2020 Winter Major. What would you get done? Again. You got a minus 14, right? 14, yeah. I missed number eight of all the holes. Yeah, and I missed uh, I missed the mid one, six. I had a recovery shot, and I, and I two-ringed it. And everything else was just flat. Got to pick up. Now, now the deal is, now I got serious pressure, because the whole deal is, is just shoot the par fours and pick anything else out. Now I've got to pick up something to get me back onto the leaderboard. And then I have to pick up something else in order to freaking try and raise myself to the top. So I'm not doing myself any favors. I'm going to just get yeah, pissed well, off and go I in the back nine and just smoke it out. For whatever reason, back backside is uh, gotta feels get like six. an easy 60. Gots to. Let's see what my opponent Dan did here. They did get six. They did get. Oh, they didn't get eight. And the thing about eight is, is that I, you can get it with a low power ball. Extra mile is what most people are going to have to hit that with, and it works. Extra mile, I think you do max curl. All right, are we? Uh, we're done with the front. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good good tournament. Hopefully, y'all do well. It's a major, so I mean, y'all want to put out. You know, you get a little bit better banner. I I kind of pissed off. They took away part of the up. part of the banner that we had for past majors. They they yeah I like took the away the little thing, and it kind of pisses me off. So, I guess I need to go win three majors with the new stuff so that I can fill it out. It's always good when you have three wins because then people have to look at your stuff and see how many you got. <laughs> how many wins you got? You got a shitload of wins. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, a lot. Between I all of your like, accounts, a shitload of wins. Between all of them, yeah. But it's always just rookie. I got a couple silvers in pro with the main account. But like we were saying the other day, like when it stopped to change the uh, tournament, so there's no shootouts. I just I don't grind. I don't play two or play. I find it boring. So if I could do like a head to head for three holes against someone, that would be more fun than just going out there and playing one hole all the time. Yeah, it's fun to play with somebody. I the game. It's just I don't like to grind at all. That was that's one of the things about King's Golf. We don't. They just need. They just need a new mode. Just so like, you can enter any time you want type thing. Like hey, I want to play a random tour seven tournament for nine holes. Like, give me a course, you pick it, you guys, and then throw whatever five, ten people in with me. I'm going to do one quick round, nine holes, it lasts eight hours or something. And then, uh, yeah, you win, whatever. Even if it's only coins, I don't even fucking care. It's just like the... You think that they would have, as long like as the game has been out five years now, you think that they would have, first of all, like if you talk about things that the game doesn't have, if we're doing the after... after um, we're doing the after opening round. We're, we're back at the clubhouse having a couple of drinks with the ladies and we're sitting here talking shit about Golf Clash. 
because Golf Classic's been around for five years, and we still can only play to Tour 4 with with people in our clans, friendlies. Yeah, that's true. Okay, that's all bullshit. I mean, like, the whole coin thing, like, you can figure that out. If you're worried about people giving other people coins, you can figure that shit out. Okay, don't allow forfeits. If people want to go in there and waste their time and miss putts and stuff, hey, that's their... <laughs> Who cares? I mean, they're they're really playing your game and they're stuff. using your stuff. Come on, let it let There's play. Was giving the coins to someone else. Like they have a feature where it's like, hey, go on Facebook so you have friends. You can send coins to each other. So what's the difference between that and going on a course and just being like, okay, forfeit, you win. Forfeit, you win. Here's coins. Here's coins. You need them. I don't. Like, I don't see the problem with that, honestly. Giving away coins for free to your friends, I honestly don't see a big deal with that. I mean, the coin thing is a... a, a okay, here's another thing. You want to know... Okay, yeah. if anybody from EA Sports or Playdemic listens to this channel, I will tell you right now that these... Uh, the clans have been out now for, what, three years? And you've done dick with them. Since I started. Okay, you've done dick with them. You've done nothing with them. Like I'm in a I'm in a men's club here. We have a course. Like I'm in a clan. We should have be able to designate a course. And if we're playing on that course, we can play friendlies with all of the people in our clan. We could, you know. And if if your clan is a rookie clan, you, there's a bunch of courses you can't pick. If your clan's a masters clan, there's a bunch of courses that you can pick. Right? You can that are, ex, you know, in that deal. You can pick any course that you want, really, if you're a masters clan, and that's your home course. Then we could have course tournaments we've been in this game for long enough that why do we not have an 18 hole golf course for majors yeah why isn't there a golf course that has 18 holes if we have different wind on the back nine than we have on the front and you yeah. get the same wind as your opponent that means so back in the day when they had stabilized winds you could be on hole number one and i could be on hole number 10 and that would save play down yeah. time right but but now with the variable winds you're on hole one, you're on hole one, you're on hole 10, you're on hole 10. So why don't we have an 18-hole golf course? Why don't we? We used to get golf. Yeah. Now, I understand that the game has got a lot of courses in it now, and, and so they can cycle them through. But we used to get new golf courses like when they were developing those. Like, shit, we got one every three months, one every couple months. You know what happens when new courses come out? When new courses come out, we got to go out there and figure out how to do it, and we burn through a shit ton of balls practicing. And we go out there and try wild shit and go, oh, that doesn't work, and we'll do stuff, and we'll go through and they burn a ton. I'll bet you on the weeks they come out with new holes, ball sales are out, you know, like that's their best weeks. <laughs> come out with new holes more often. Why do we not have an 18-hole golf course? Why can't we yeah. choose the clans? As far as I'm concerned, Playdemic has done nothing with the clans. Nothing. I mean, we get the only benefit we get is the the bag stuff. But really, when it gets right down to it, the clan thing. There are so many things that they could do to incentivize the clans and to have fun within the clans. You know, having bracket tournaments where whatever you know bracket you're in to go up or down you're actually playing you know it's the people in the bracket playing yeah alright I'm going to call, call you right back I'm just going to order something real quick alright so that's the uh, that's the opening round that was our tire okay well we're taking our tin hats off have a good one thanks for watching and catch you on the uh, back side <laughs>